Venture funding is very important in the cybersecurity field. It's an exploding market. There's new companies with new technology ways of doing things popping up all the time. How do you navigate that? And that's what venture can provide. They're invaluable to a company like ours at this stage in this kind of market. My name is Thomas Jermalek, otherwise known as TJ, CEO of Beyond Identity. Beyond Identity is a new wave cybersecurity company that was created in answer to the problem of credential theft. Over 85% of the issues today with account takeover, ransomware, supply chain attacks, all emanate from a single problem, passwords. Passwords are a fundamentally insecure shared secret mechanism that has been a plague on our industry for 30 years now and is getting worse and worse with the hybrid workforce, remote workforce that's gone on due to COVID, but even before that with the migration of work into a remote space and migration of applications into the cloud, it has created more and more vulnerabilities because every tool that's used has at its core a password as part of the login. This technology was actually created originally at Netscape in 1993. Tahir Elgamal, who was on our advisory board, is now on our board of directors, representing Evolution Equity Partners, was the inventor of this, and we called it SSL and used X509 certificates as a mechanism for how e-commerce companies could securely communicate with each other on the web. But at that time, nobody knew how to extend that technology to personal usage. Well, it turns out here, some 25 years later, we finally figured it out. Computers have come a long way with their computing power, with their capabilities, and we have figured out how to extend it and put these key technologies onto computers so that all users can, in fact, participate in this same security system. So once we knew that, we decided to form a company and sell it into the enterprise market first. So we did that in 2019. We did our Series A at the same time, raised our first 30 million. We were able to prove that the technology worked. And here it is two years later, we have almost 200 employees and lots of customers and three different products in the markets for employees, for customers, for developers. We now have a big go-to-market team. We're deployed in Europe, we're deployed in the US. We'll soon be going after Latin America and Asia Pacific. So it's been quite a ride for the, for the first two years. When we went to raise our Series C round, we met Evolution Equity partners because they had been investors in previous companies that some of my senior leadership team was involved with. They're very focused on the cybersecurity market, so it's only natural that they knew some of my team and had worked with them before. That's how I got the original introduction, and that's what led me to make a decision that we wanted to explore this with them. And we sort of fell in love with each other. And I think it's gonna be a great relationship. So what would I advise other cybersecurity startups? Do a lot of diligence on who it is you're going to hook yourself to and in terms of taking money and venture. Try and understand what is it that you need? Are you an experienced entrepreneur? Are you new? Do you need help in building your company? and? in team building and in interviewing and in sourcing leads? Or do you need help in maybe your go-to-market strategy and you need more salesy kind of knowledge? Or do you need more help on the product side? You want a more technical team that's involved? Or does your company need a lot of money and you need a partner who can bring in other partners? Or you're just a smaller seed thing and there's people that specialize there? So understand what your needs are. Try and map those well against the VCs that are out there. Try and get to know them well, understand if they're going to be a great partner for you on a long-term basis.